of women so much is because we're finally starting to realize how powerful we are. Actually, I don't think this new generation of women is strong at all. <laughs> Y'all are actually showing us the, the weakest way to win a war when it comes down to a man, and that's seducing their eyes, sexuality. I don't put on clothes anymore like that. And trust me, I love to be naked. But there's a time for everything. All y'all do is twerk all day long. Y'all wear pounds of makeup, which changes and enhances your beauty. It's all manipulation. You call that power? If you're powerful, you don't have to manipulate anyone. They'll willingly follow. So if there's anything wrong between this generation and the old generation, is the old generation operated off of their right side of the brain while the new generation is left-sided y'all are masculine you're not balancing out your feminine the hate you is because all right all right all right i'm back after a long time of a long hiatus well i'll just jump right straight into this video right i've been watching a lot of kevin samuels lately whether you love him or hate him, he does have a lot of good points. Like I agree with most of what he says. And the truth of the matter is nowadays marriage is re I don't really think it's it's really worth it for for men, especially in the western society in the western world because these women have been raised and brought up to just see men as uh, something to be used as just utility as just you're just there to serve them you know like the queen like you know they're the queen bee you're just there to serve you just something to be used and then disposed of because you hear time and time again this modern woman like you would like to call them always say you know i'm strong independent i don't need no man type stuff because they grew up here and their, their moms, their mothers say that. So, they grew up with that kind of mentality. And they get to a certain age. They have all the degrees in the world they need. They realize, oh shit, I'm not fulfilled. I have all these degrees and all that. Yet I'm single as a doorknob. But then, they realize the ones that are lucky enough to course correct when they're young enough. They can find a man a good man and then make it work have kids live happily ever or whatever whatever but a lot of them realize when it's too late because the thing is according to uh, i think it was Marilyn Monroe that said this it's like beauty is to women as wealth is to man so as a woman your youth Right? Your early age, your youth, your late teens, your early 20s. Those are your prime years. But a man achieve wealth and status later on in life, the older he gets. So it's kind of like men age like fine wine. The older you get, the more experienced you should be, the more progressed you should be in life, the more accomplished and achieved you should be in life as a man. But as a woman... You get gifted all that. Your advantage is gifted to you very early in your life. And a lot of women don't realize this because they use that early stage to do their 304s and their party in Miami and living La Vida Loca type of lifestyle. They use all that, their prime years, which is a very short period. These are that prime years to chase a career and status, which is a very masculine thing to do, but they don't know that because they've been programmed by their mothers and their grandmothers that that's the way to go. But their mothers are like happily in their, in their, in their marriage, but they teach this young woman that, oh, don't be no slave to no man. Get yours. Chase the bag. Get yours. And then this woman go for that. And then in their 30s, the late 30s, they realize, oh, crap. I mean, I've got this job. I've got this uh good pay and all that i've got a condo i've got nice cars but i'm not fulfilled because you, you're trying to go against a woman's nature it's it's in a woman's nature to want a family to want kids you never see a woman in a right mind you never see a woman that's like 
as happy as you would see a, a woman that just gave birth to a baby. You see the look in her face. I've experienced it before. You see the look. Well, I haven't given birth before, but I have a wife. You, 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 you see the look on her face. You're like, wow, it's glorious. They just glow. They're so happy that they, they, they've, they've created a life that this is like the greatest achievement. But a lot of the Western women are not in their right minds. So they see being a mother and being a wife as being uh, a slave to a man. They keep using this phrase, barefoot and pregnant. Oh, they don't, they don't want that. They want to be boss chicks. But the thing is, a man don't want, don't want a boss chick. Because when you're a boss chick, most of the time, you've got masculine uh, attributes. You've got masculine tendencies. And the man don't want another man in a relationship. So a lot of these women are starting to realize this now. And this whole gender war, gender war nonsense that, that a lot of these... Uh, YouTubers keep talking about it's a gender war. It's gen gender war. I'm not gender warring with no woman. What are you talking about? And, and now it's like I'm I'm slowly slow I'm slowly slowly getting tired of these topics because as 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 a black as a black man, the Western black woman is like so far gone, so 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 far gone. They bought into this whole. Uh, Western feminism, um, man hating ideology, hook, line, and sinker. I think the, black, the the Western black woman soaked this in more than any other woman, more than any other woman of any other race. Because if you look deep into it, the survey, a lot of all these other women of all the races are with their man when push comes to shove they are with their man at the end of the day you see a lot of all these feminists in the early uh, 50s and 60s or whatever doing all those march and whatever selling these ideas to women of color they go home to their husbands and their kids but they're selling this idea that you don't need any man but you get to a certain age when you know you retire and there's no job no one is hiring any 60 year old woman like, how are you going to live the next 20 years of your life? Where are you going to get the money from? You don't need any man. The <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, the nature of the woman, people don't understand the nature of the woman. The nature of the woman is survivalism. Women are survivalists by nature. That's why back in the olden days, during the hunter and gatherer times, oh, the, the warrior clan from another tribe might come and conquer your tribe, kill your husband and stuff, and you marry the, the, you marry the man. Someone that just killed your husband and burnt your village down. You marry them, have babies for them, move on and spread your seed. Enhance your bloodline. Reproduce. Because at the end of the day, when, push comes, when you really look into it, women are kind of like spoils of war. Women are supposed to, they go with whoever is in power. But the women nowadays are like thought and raised to be competition to a man. But then, deep down in a man's, uh, deep down in a man's nature, he doesn't want a woman that's going to be a competition to him, that's going to oppose him every step of the way. He wants someone that's faith, feminine, and cooperative. Like my man Kevin Simons would say, that's what men, men, men are very simple. He just want you to be cooperative. He want you to be fit at least. Be feminine. But the Western women don't have that, especially the black women, they don't possess that. So black men, instead of going around complaining, complaining, I know black men deep down really want black women. But at the end of the day, you have to save yourself. You have to go where you are wanted. Don't hang around, cross your fingers and hope. No, they won't change, especially when they get to a certain age. <laughs> Why do you think all this... A man that are accomplished and achieved go for like younger women, younger girls in the early 20s to 27. Because at that age, they can still be molded. You can still carve them according to how you want them to go. But when they pass a certain age, like in their 30s, mid, once they pass mid 30s, their ways are pretty much set. They're not going to change. You just have to, I'm sorry to say this is harsh, but you, they're going to have to die out. 
don't mingle with them, don't reproduce with them because it's going to be a vicious cycle. They're going to get bored, divorce you due to irreconcilable differences, meaning, fuck it, I'm bored. They divorce you, they'll be single moms, just like their mom was a single mom, and they'll, they're going to raise feminine men and masculine girls. You're going to create emotional men that go that 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 all their life they're going to be looking for male validation and then they're going to join gangs and start shooting each other up in the streets like what's happening in Chicago. Bunch of bitch raised kids, offsprings of club bitches. Stay away from the ratchets, men. Stay away from the ratchets. Let them die out. Move on. Go where you're wanted. Don't let them shame you into uh, getting with them. Move on. Bunch of all these women of all the races are attracted to black men more than they're attracted to black women because everyone else is seeing what we're seeing. Bad character. Don't listen. Fighting around on the internet twerking all day. They see all this. They see what we see. They don't want these women. It's sad, but they don't want these women. Like you can look at the black women from this uh, back in the day to black women now and see the difference. And they always talk about this European standard of beauty. It's not a European standard of beauty. It's just a standard of beauty. Men are men. Every race of men are the same. <laughs> we all want the same thing. The color, color doesn't mean anything. We all we're all men.